You must have seen people around you passionately following certain ideologies, firmly entrenched in their beliefs and unwilling to consider alternative perspectives. It's a common sight in today's world, and it raises a critical question. What drives this unwavering commitment, even in the face of contradictory evidence? To unravel this puzzle, we turn to Bonhoeffer's theory of stupidity. In a world where evil and malice often dominate our discussions, there is a hidden enemy that poses an even greater threat to the pursuit of good. It is a force that blinds us, renders us defenseless, and hinders our ability to reason. That enemy is none other than stupidity. And according to the wise words of Dietrich Bonhoeffer, stupidity is a more dangerous foe than malice itself. In the darkest chapter of German history, where evil thrived and malice reigned, there emerged a voice of courage and intellect. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, a young German theologian and pastor, found himself at the center of a nation engulfed by cowardice and criminality. It was during his imprisonment in 1943, accused of participating in a plot against Hitler, that Bonhoeffer began to reflect deeply on the state of his country and the roots of its moral decline. What he discovered was a profound insight that would shape his understanding of human behavior, the theory of stupidity. Born in 1906, Bonhoeffer grew up in a family that valued education, faith, and social justice. As he witnessed the atrocities and injustices committed by the Nazis, he became determined to understand the underlying forces that allowed such evil to take hold. Bonhoeffer noticed something peculiar, a shift in the collective consciousness of the German people. He observed that it wasn't simply wickedness or malice that drove individuals to commit heinous acts. Rather, it was a pervasive and dangerous form of ignorance that he labeled as stupidity. Bonhoeffer's theory of stupidity went beyond a mere lack of intelligence. He recognized that it was a moral defect, a willful refusal to engage in critical thinking and self-reflection. Stupidity, as Bonhoeffer argued, rendered individuals defenseless against reason and blind to the consequences of their actions. In his famous Letters from Prison, penned while incarcerated, Bonhoeffer delved deeper into the nature of stupidity. He highlighted that it was not an intellectual deficiency, but rather a sociological problem. He discovered that under certain circumstances, such as times of rising power and influence, stupidity spread like contagion, infecting large segments of society. It was as if the powerful relied on the ignorance of the masses to maintain control. Bonhoeffer also observed that those who isolated themselves from society, living in solitude, exhibited less frequent manifestations of this defect. He concluded that stupidity was intricately connected to sociability and the impact of historical circumstances on human beings. It became apparent to him that every upsurge of power, whether political or religious, carried with it the potential to instill stupidity in the minds of the people. The consequences of this collective stupidity were dire. Individuals under its spell became stubborn and resistant to reason. They clung to slogans, catchwords, and propaganda, losing their sense of independent thought and moral responsibility. The stupid person, despite their lack of independence, became dangerous, capable of perpetrating any evil without recognizing its true nature. Yet, in the midst of this disheartening reality, Bonhoeffer offered a glimmer of hope. A way to free ourselves from the grip of stupidity. He believed that we needed both external and internal freedom to achieve this liberation. External freedom meant breaking free from oppressive systems and ideologies that restrict our thinking and limit our potential. It's about challenging the status quo and seeking alternative perspectives, a society where people are conditioned to believe a certain ideology without question. External liberation would involve stepping outside of that narrow mindset and exploring diverse viewpoints. On the other hand, internal freedom requires individuals to take personal responsibility for their thoughts, beliefs, and actions. It's about cultivating our own independent thinking and questioning yourself. A situation where everyone around you holds a particular belief, but deep down, you have doubts. Internal liberation would involve having the courage to critically examine those beliefs, question their validity, and form your own conclusions based on reason and evidence. It is crucial to promote awareness about the theory of stupidity. In a world where influencers hold significant power and individuals share their ideologies on diverse topics, we must exercise caution when choosing whom to follow. Instead of blindly adopting someone's beliefs, we should continuously question ourselves. I urge you to share this video with those who might be confined by certain ideologies. 
By arousing curiosity and awakening their underlying doubts, we can assist them in embarking on a path towards inner freedom. Like and subscribe for more thought-provoking content.